Welcome, Collective. Thank you guys very much for joining me for today's tarot read. Ooh, it's a little chilly in the studio today. My hands feel feel a little bit chilly. Uh, I got drawn to a deck we haven't used in a while. So let's grab this one. Let's see what message needs to come forward for the Collective. Uh, what message for their higher good? This story needs to come forward today. And what do they need to hear the most? Establishing emotional boundaries. Interesting. Choosing experiences wisely. Oh yeah, somebody somebody is setting boundaries. And cutting toxicity out. Doing things that are more right for them. Offering your gifts. Uh, in the offering your gifts card, I also feel a lot of recognizing your own self-worth. Feeling confident in what you have to give. But then back to this guy here is like choosing wisely who you're willing to share that with. And that is part of setting up emotional boundaries. Is not allowing yourself to sort of give to people who don't give back. Or, or in situations where you're getting taken advantage of. Realizing empathy as evolution or re-evolution. And mentalizing emotional impressions. Uh, you got taken advantage of before that empathy. Someone mistook your empathy uh, and your kindness as weakness. That's why you've had to set up these boundaries. It's because people have been taking advantage of you. Maybe one person in particular, maybe multiple people. Taking advantage of, of your gifts. Always wanting you to give you. You can come help or you can do this or always like when when they need you always accepting what you have to give but other than that they don't give back and not appreciating you or taking you for granted healing with mother nature i don't know if you're an outdoorsy person i gotta tell you i don't know if you're an outdoorsy person yet or if this card is calling you to get outdoors more and get some more fresh air and get connected to nature Loving the self on all levels. Celebrating the world's diversity. Now uh, you're getting told to appreciate the small things. This is like a stop and smell the roses card. This is connected to healing with mother nature. Sort of getting out and about and being able to see the beauty in this world. And taking the time to stop and appreciate it. Appreciate all the beautiful things. Spirit, what else is going on with the collective here? What else? Welcoming the help of others. Alchemizing confusion into clarity. And I get told you're... Okay, see, that makes sense then. Because I wasn't sure if you're already an outdoorsy person, but you're getting called to do more outdoorsy things. And things that are meditative for you so if this is like taking a long walk somewhere or sitting by the water sitting somewhere peaceful outside you are getting enc encouraged to be able to do that appreciate the little things and reflect on your own thoughts and your own feelings transforming empathic exorptions oh that would make a lot of sense that would make a whole lot of sense. You may have empathic abilities. So you take on the emotions of others. And this may be part of why you were always trying to be so giving. Why you were always so empathetic. It's like you see somebody hurting and you hurt because you see that they hurt. Or that they're in need and it's like you just feel this need to go and help. This is just part of who you are. You're a nurturing person. You're an empathetic person. Like I said, you might actually be an empath. And so as an empath, it is important to establish emotional boundaries. To not take on other people's emotions as your own. And to recognize when you're doing so. When what you're feeling isn't actually yours. It's somebody else's. Just sort of weaseling its way in. Because I can even feel that in the welcoming the help of others. Um, that's part of your caution. About who you're allowing past your emotional boundaries. And who you're giving uh, your time to as well. 
and who you're allowing into your life because you don't want to allow people to come in uh, who bring drama like that. And then you wind up sort of picking up whatever they're going through and, and then it feels like you and it's and it's weighing heavy on you and you're the one who's going through those emotions when you shouldn't be because it's not yours. Oh, practicing daily spiritualism. Trusting in destiny. Confronting under demons. Yeah, this is all about you recognizing that you're actually an empath. <laughs> That you're an empath and you need to start setting those boundaries about your own emotions and your own feelings and not allowing other people's garbage in. Researching the mystical world. Uh, yeah, you are getting called to a spiritual side of things. Your guides are telling you to look more into this, to research more into this. And to find a way... I don't know if it's about honing the ability... But it's about kind of learning to live with it. And when you can use it to your advantage, but not letting it sort of overwhelm you at times too. Examining self-identity. Because this is a part of your gifts. This is a this is a psychic gift that you possess. And it's one that it's one that I have too, guys. And man, at times it can throw you for a loop if you don't realize what's going on. Like taking on other people's garbage. And then the empathy and then you feel sorry for them and you're always wanting to help. It Sometimes it gets you sticking your neck out when you shouldn't and you wind up getting burnt. And that's what this read sounds like it's, it's talking about is like you coming to this realization. And being encouraged to learn more about this psychic gift that you have. And part of that too is like I said, the cards are saying being connected with mother nature. So taking that time to go somewhere to do something outside out of doors that you find meditative and that helps you connect spirit can you please bring more for the collective on this message today I do see this is pretty interesting cards to come forward. There are lessons to be learned here. It's interesting that Queen of Pentacles, she's somebody who's very nurturing. Very nurturing. Very empathetic to others. And the Queen of Swords can be somebody who's rather cool. Now, I think you've been more like this Queen of Pentacles for that long. You've been, like you said, giving, taking on other people's stuff. You may have been dealing with people who are more of like the Queen of Swords. I'm just taking they're emotionally cool they don't think about your emotions they don't put uh your feelings or what you're going through sort of above anything to try and help you right like they just leave you swinging in the wind but if they're having a rough time they expect you to come running i think you want somebody around you who maybe has been encouraging you to be a little bit less apathetic who's maybe been able to see this pattern or to see that you've been taken advantage of and who's tried to say hey you need to be a little bit more laid back a little bit more cool maybe don't give so much because you got takers in your life you have takers but I'm gonna tell you too like everything happens for a reason so even these takers in your life have come forward to help teach you to put boundaries in place for yourself and to put those boundaries in place for your your empathetic spiritual gift. Uh, it's to help you recognize you have the gift, but then to learn how to, I don't want to say protect yourself from it, but like you really got to set those boundaries. Because there is a lot of takers out there and people who will take advantage of it. And I get that at times... Especially setting these boundaries, if you have lots of these taker type people in your life, you may feel lonely setting these boundaries because these people are not going to like these boundaries. You're going to get, you're going to get some kickback. You're going to get people trying to draw you back into the game. People trying to take advantage of you again, trying to pull you back in. I keep getting that from the devil card, like trying to lure you back in because they don't want you to shine. 
and they don't want you to be happy. They're more, they're selfish people. So they're more concerned about their own happiness and what they can take from others. They don't like to see other folks shine. It just rubs them the wrong way. And I keep getting from that Knight of Pentacles. It's like it, it may be a lonely journey at times for you because of all of this. Spirit, can you please bring more for the collective? It's interesting because that Knight of Cups, a lot of times he can be sort of like a love offering coming forward. I'm going to tell you all I see with that Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, the Hermit card is like, this is a golden opportunity for you to love yourself, to make a love offering to yourself, to be okay with a bit of solitude if it means cutting out negative energies, to find that peace within yourself, that inner peace. And the Fool card is about having faith. I mean, we had the Trusting and Destiny card come forward too. Here's your inner truth. And this may be, I don't know if you've been asking sort of like, why is this happening to me or why am I going through this? And I do feel like you will gain some clarity by having some trust in the universe and by taking that time to be able to sort of meditate and to look within yourself. I think if you look back on your past and your relationships with people, especially the ones that have been more hurtful, I think you're going to see this trend and you're going to be able to identify being an empath and how you took on emotions that were not yours and felt pressures that weren't yours. And it sort of pushed you to act in ways that were not in your best interest. I, like I said, I keep thinking like if you sat and thought about it, you'd be able to see it. You'd see the pattern. Ooh, those guys. They almost went for a tumble off the table too. He's the I do see a chance to find balance for yourself. Um, I keep getting the word um, seed from the Page of Pentacles. I'm not sure if this is part of your practicing daily spirituality, researching the mystical world. Maybe there's a way in there for you. I don't know that it's a career path. But like a seed to start a more balanced future by being aware of these things. More aware of these things. And dipping deeper into them. Can you please bring more spirit for the collective? That guy. Whoa, we got a whole big bunch. We got a whole big bunch. This is the one I want first though. The magician. No, I think you're going to find you, oh, that's interesting. I think you're going to find um, the more research you do, the more meditation you practice, the more you sort of um, have these boundaries in your life and really build for yourself, you actually will have some control over this to a certain extent. I keep getting that you'll be able to call on it on times or use it at certain times for your own benefit. Like this gift will benefit you. And the King of Cups, I see that kind of that emotional zen, but I see like a control over it. A control over dipping into these emotions that may or may not be yours. I see not just helping you through your emotional times. Because I do believe like all of this, Spirit's bringing all of this message forward as part of your own path that you're walking to help you and help for you to live a better life. But I keep getting like it's, it's something bigger than that. Yeah, there's collaboration. You're supposed to help other people. 
you're supposed to do this to help other folks. People who are going through maybe similar things that you're going through or are just struggling emotionally. There's something about your psychic gift uh, that allows you to help other people. People going through heartache, people going through rough times. And being able to show them that there is another side of that. You can't come through on the other side. You can be better off for it. And helping them to find their confidence in moving forward. Helping them to recognize and love themselves. And to overcome their past. And, and to be able to leave that past. To cut ties with it. And to move forward into something better. Because that is literally what you're doing. And I'll tell you guys like. I am an empath. I do have other abilities too. That help me with reading the cards. But. But my empathic skills are a big part of how I read tarot. So maybe this is something that you're getting into. Or maybe you're going to be getting into scrying. Or Reiki. Or something like that. And I think the more you research. This spiritual side of things. And sort of where you fit into it. You will find where you fit in. You'll just be drawn to certain things. And you'll just sort of take to them like a duck to water. And that's the path that you're supposed to take. And like I said this is. This is your healing journey and your journey to become the best person that you can possibly be. But it's a bit more than that because you're being called on to be more than that. To share your journey and to share in other people's journeys and to help them come through the other side of whatever it is they're going through. Seven of Wands. And trust in what you're doing too. Um, I'll tell you, whatever these people are who are kind of these takers, very selfish. If they are still in your life, um, they may poo-poo whatever this journey is that you're doing or your spiritual side of things or say it's kooky or say it's stupid or something like that. Defend what you know is the truth. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and defend what you know is the truth because that's part of setting those emotional boundaries too. And to find balance and sort of like a zen within that. So you don't get really worked up. You just know it and have that confidence that what you're doing is the right thing for you. And if they don't like it or they think it's stupid, well, tough shit. They don't have to do it themselves and they don't have to believe in it. But this is how you live your life and this is what works for you. And it is a healing and evolving journey for you. I, I feel a lot of spirituality in the Empress in this read. So this isn't just your sort of like emotional growth, uh, mental, mental growth. This is like psychic growth too for you. Recognizing that you have this ability and then giving it space to start growing into something new. I think you find your calling in this and you find your balance and you find your happiness throughout all of this it won't happen overnight this is something that's like a big life change in a process but I do see something that helps to make you happy in life makes you feel more grounded makes you feel more stable and therefore will make you more successful as well spirit can you please bring more for the collective Yeah, you're going to get people, uh, You're gonna, and it is some of these people from your past or who you've been dealing with and you're maybe still dealing with, uh, who try and, like, that devil card drag you back into it. But you're going to have to not rush, rush to help, rush to save, rush to whatever. You're going to have to learn to hold yourself back. Balance. Because that time is over. That way of living is over. Or you, I don't know if it kind of, kind of wound up like you were at somebody's beck and call or anytime they needed something, they would just expect you to jump and drop whatever you're doing to go help them or to give them whatever you had, even if it was at your expense, just to help make their life easier because they thought that they needed it. But I keep feeling like that time of imbalance and unfairness is over. And now it's time for a new start. 
It's a fresh start. It's a fresh chapter. Like I said, one where you come into your own psychic abilities and use them, learn to use them for your own advantage. Being able to see clarity now, to, to be able to see the truth and that these relationships were not what they should have been. You know, this was not a two-sided relationship. It just wound up being a one-sided relationship. I see that you've learned lessons and that this is not a mistake that you want to repeat again. And the tower, eh, a lot of times the tower, everyone thinks this is big dramatic thing. And, and sometimes it can be in a read, but all I feel in this tower card is transformation. And a lot of times that's what the tower card is, right? It's, it's some big ending and a new beginning starting. This is a, a transformation for you. This is you seeing the light. This is you finding your path and learning to speak your truth. Not worrying about other people's judgment. Because your judgment is the one that matters. What you think about yourself and how you feel about yourself. That's why I sensed in that, that seven of wands is you may have to stand up for yourself, but don't do it out of, don't do it out of anger. Do it out of confidence. Is that you know you're doing the right thing. Uh, if people don't agree with it or they don't like it, well, tough shit for them. They don't have to live that life. They don't have to live your life. They don't have to live your choices. They can go off and do their own thing and think whatever they want. But this is what works for you. And this is who you are. And this is what makes you happy. So if they want to love you and be a part of your life, then they're going to have to be kind. And they're going to have to accept that and not be judgmental assholes, right? And that's part of those boundaries. I don't get to take advantage of you anymore. There's death and rebirth right there. It's a beautiful transition and change and transformation that I feel in this in this read for you guys. Uh, whoever's been going through this and really coming to terms with your psychic ability of empathy and how it sort of tripped you up in the past because maybe you weren't aware that you possessed it. But being able to see that now gives you power. All of this gives you power. And you can pick and choose who you give your empathy to and who you give your kindness to. And I do feel like once you've moved farther on your journey that you will be called to be a light worker of some sort and to help others. That this is just meant to be a part of your journey as well. Alrighty guys, that is your read. Have a great day.